do you feel the federal government will probably speak to Jay-Z in regards? They already have. Oh. They talked to him before he made that Super Bowl announcement. Sean Jay-Z Carter's sudden and mysterious absence from the public eye has sparked rumors that he has fled the country after receiving a warning from his longtime friend and fellow music mogul, Sean Diddy Combs. To the alleged warning comes amidst a growing storm of controversy surrounding Diddy, who is facing a series of serious charges. The media is abuzz with speculation about what this could mean for Jay-Z and whether he might be involved in any of Diddy's alleged shady activities. Recently, Diddy has been under intense scrutiny, with federal authorities investigating him for various criminal activities. Reports suggest that he is being looked into for possible racketeering, sex trafficking, and coercion, which could have severe consequences if proven true. These charges, which have already damaged his reputation, seem to be just the tip of the iceberg. The FBI and Homeland Security investigations Hayes have been involved in these investigations, raising the stakes even higher. The situation took a bizarre turn when freak-off videos allegedly involving Diddy were discovered. These videos were reportedly found during an FBI raid and have added a sensational element to the case. The content of these videos is said to be shocking and has fueled rumors about Diddy's possible involvement in illegal or immoral activities. With this new evidence, authorities are now looking more closely into his personal and professional life, which has left many to wonder how deep the scandal goes. This video will explore the multiple aspects of this unfolding drama. We will delve into the charges against Diddy, detailing what he is accused of and how these accusations came to light. We will also examine his long-standing relationship with Jay-Z, including their business ventures and shared history in the music industry. There have been whispers of potentially shady activities that the two might have been involved in together, and this video will explore whether there is any truth to these claims. We'll also take a closer look at the impact of the Freak Off videos and how they have affected Diddy's case. Are these videos merely embarrassing or could they be critical evidence in the investigations? Finally, we'll discuss the ongoing FBI and Hasey investigations, which are reportedly looking into a network of individuals connected to Diddy. As more details emerge, the connections between Jay-Z and Diddy are coming under increasing scrutiny. With Jay's allegedly fleeing the country, the public is left wondering whether this is just a precaution or if he has something to hide. The rest of this video will break down these complex issues and what they could mean for both music ons as the investigations come over. A deep dive into the P. Diddy's case. The charges currently facing Sean Diddy comes are both serious and wide ranging considering how they've drawn the attention of federal authorities, including the FBI and Homeland Security investigations. C. Diddy is being accused of involvement in a criminal enterprise that spans over a decade, encompassing numerous allegations, including sex trafficking, forced labor, and other forms of exploitation. The foundation of the charges centers on allegations that Diddy used his extensive business network, including companies like Bad Boy Entertainment and Comms Enterprises, as fronts to facilitate and conceal illegal activities. The most shocking accusations involve hosting what was termed freak-off parties, which allegedly involved transporting individuals across state and international borders for prostitution, all while recording the activities for his personal use. Some of these incidents were linked to his relationships, including allegations from Cassie Ventura, who filed a lawsuit in 2023 accusing Diddy of rape, trafficking, and years of abuse. As part of the investigation, federal agents searched Diddy's properties in Miami and Los Angeles, where they reportedly seized drugs, guns, and freak-off supplies including hundreds of bottles of lubricant. The severity of the charges suggests that Diddy could face up to 20 years in prison if convicted of racketeering and related charges. Prosecutors from the Southern District of New York, who are known for handling high-profile organized crime cases, 
are leading the charge against him. The controversy surrounding Diddy's alleged freak-off videos has significantly impacted his public image and intensified existing rumors about his involvement in shady activities. These videos, reportedly seized during raids on his properties in Miami and Los Angeles, are said to document explicit and coercive sexual events involving multiple victims. According to authorities, the freak-offs were recorded without the participants' knowledge, and some victims were reportedly coerced with controlled substances to ensure their compliance. U.S. Attorney Williams stated that the tapes are now in the possession of federal investigators who are using them to identify victims and those involved. Public reaction to these revelations has been a mix of shock and outrage. Social media is buzzing with discussions about the scandal as many express their disbelief at the extent of the allegations. A comparisons have even been made between Diddy and infamous figures like Jeffrey Epstein due to the nature and seriousness of the accusations. This has sparked further speculation about the true extent of Diddy's alleged misconduct and his influence in the entertainment industry. While no prominent figures have been confirmed in the footage, rumors continued to swirl online, spurred by tweets and posts claiming everything from Usher's involvement to far-reaching political conspiracies. These allegations have prompted responses from notable figures in the entertainment industry. For example, rapper 50 Cent has stoked the flames by openly mocking Diddy, claiming he would pay good money to see who else appears in the videos. In response to the allegations, Diddy's legal team has firmly denied any wrongdoing and has labeled the case as unjust. They instead adamantly insist that Diddy is an innocent man. Despite this, the indictment claims that Diddy used his connections and resources to facilitate these events across state and international lines, which has only made the case even more complex. Authorities have been clear that the investigation is ongoing and that the evidence collected, including the videos, is crucial to the case. U.S. Attorney Damien Williams emphasized that the case is far from over, indicating that more charges or revelations could emerge as the investigation continues. The evidence of firearms and over 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant found during the raids adds a disturbing layer to the allegations. Although Diddy's team maintains these items were not used for illegal purposes. Aside from these recent criminal allegations, Diddy has faced numerous legal issues in the past, many of which related to violence and misconduct. He settled a 2023 civil suit filed by his ex-girlfriend, Cassie, which was brought under New York's Adult Survivors Act, a legal provision allowing individuals to pursue civil litigation regardless of when the abuse occurred. While that case was resolved out of court, the criminal investigation into Diddy's alleged enterprise remains ongoing. The FBI and he have reportedly built their case over several years. They have drawn from witness testimony and victim accounts, some of whom have filed lawsuits against Diddy in the past. These allegations suggest that Diddy's actions were part of a much larger and more coordinated effort to exploit and control individuals through manipulation, coercion, and violence. But ongoing investigation has yet to reveal whether the tapes will be shown publicly, but it's likely they will play a critical role in Diddy's trial. The potential release of such sensitive footage remains highly unlikely due to its graphic content and legal considerations. However, interest in the case is expected to continue building as more details emerge. The consequences, if found guilty, are severe. Diddy could face not only extensive prison time, but also the forfeiture property and assets tied to these crimes, which paints a grim future if the prosecution succeeds in proving its case. The unfolding legal battle has smeared Diddy's legacy and may continue to do so for years to come. FBI and AC investigations further explored. The ongoing FBI and Homeland Security investigations 
C's case in Kent's Sheen Combs, P. Diddy centers on serious allegations of sex trafficking, racketeering, and various violent crimes. The charges claim that over the past decade, Combs orchestrated a criminal enterprise involving the exploitation of women through coercion, violence, and intimidation. These acts reportedly took place across multiple states and freak-off parties where women were coerced into sexual acts played a significant role in these accusations. Federal agents executed search warrants on Diddy's properties, gathering key evidence that built the case. AC has worked closely with multiple field offices, including Miami and Los Angeles, to investigate Khan's alleged network, which includes his associates who helped facilitate and conceal these crimes. The case highlights a decade-long pattern of manipulation where Combs used his influence as a high-profile music mogul to exploit and control his victims. Two witnesses and victims played a significant role in bringing this case forward, despite facing a lot of their own challenges. The racketeering charge suggests that Diddy's alleged criminal activities were not isolated incidents but part of a larger scheme involving several of his associates and employees. These individuals are accused of helping to transport victims across state lines, arrange hotels, and procure drugs for these parties. Federal agents reportedly found evidence such as narcotics, firearms with scratched off serial numbers, and large quantities of baby oil and lubricant during their search of his properties. In addition to the sex trafficking and racketeering allegations, Diddy is also charged with obstruction of justice. Prosecutors claim that Diddy used his wealth and influence to silence potential witnesses, often through intimidation or attempted bribery. He allegedly manipulated victims by promising them career advancements in exchange for their silence, and some witnesses were reportedly threatened when they tried to speak out. Given the extensive evidence gathered by the FBI and C, including potential video recordings of these activities, Diddy faces multiple counts that could result in severe penalties, including a possible life sentence if convicted. These federal charges have not only had legal consequences for Diddy, but have also raised questions about his professional connections. There has been speculation regarding Jay-Z's possible connection to these ongoing investigations. Although no formal accusations have been made against Jay-Z, rumors have swirled about his involvement or potential distancing from comms during this legal turmoil. This speculation intensified after reports that Jay-Z might have fled the country, with some questioning whether it was related to Diddy's growing legal issues. However, there is no solid evidence that directly links Jay-Z to Diddy's criminal activities and no official statements confirm his involvement in these matters. Diddy's legal troubles come at a time when the music industry is facing increasing scrutiny over how powerful figures treat women and abuse their influence. His case has drawn comparisons to other high-profile figures accused of similar crimes. While some in the entertainment industry are standing by Diddy, others are calling for accountability, waiting to see how the legal process unfolds. The FBI and HECI investigations are still in progress, and the legal consequences for Diddy remain uncertain. But the severity of the charges suggests significant consequences. For now, the legal focus remains squarely on Diddy, and it's unclear whether these investigations will extend to other high-profile individuals in his circle. A complicated friendship between Jay-Z and P. Diddy. Jay-Z and Diddy's professional and personal history stretches back to the early days of their careers, creating a relationship that has seen collaborations, business ventures, and moments of apparent tension. Both artists rose to prominence in the 1990s, with Diddy founding Bad Boy Records and managing stars like the notorious B.I.G. While Jay-Z established himself with his debut album, Reasonable Doubt, in 1996, the pair have collaborated on several musical projects and showcased their shared influence on the hip-hop industry with standout tracks 
like come and get me victory and mo money mo problems. Beyond music, they were often seen together at events and celebrated major life milestones in each other's presence, further cementing the image of a strong friendship. Itty and Jay-Z also engaged in joint business ventures that highlighted their entrepreneurial spirits. The D.D. Sean John clothing line and Syrup Godka brand, alongside Jay-Z's involvement in the sports world through Rock Nation and his streaming service title, positioned them as K players not only in hip-hop but also in global business. These ventures drew admiration, but they also sparked rumors and speculation particularly around the potential for shady dealings between the two. Over the years, Diddy and Jay-Z's relationship appeared to grow stronger through their public displays of admiration. However, in recent times, there have been rumors of brewing tension between the two. Some speculated that these tensions were due to business disagreements or personal issues. Jay-Z's decision to distance himself from Diddy amid the accusations against the latter fueled the speculation of a rift. In March 2024, Jay-Z's absence from the public eye, along with rumors of his fleeing the country, led to further questions about the state of their relationship. Some unconfirmed reports suggest that Jay-Z may have chosen to avoid association with Diddy following the public controversy involving accusations against him, especially in the wake of the hashtag MeToo movement. In these instances, Jay-Z was noted for his silence on the matter, while other celebrities publicly spoke out. This silence, coupled with rumors of Diddy's anger over being abandoned, led to speculation of a deeper falling out between the two. As their friendship continued to be dissected by the public and media, some conspiracy theories emerged suggesting that their relationship may have taken a darker turn. These included wild claims about secret business dealings, even extending to controversial claims about their involvement in underground activities. Though these theories have been largely debunked as baseless rumors, Diddy and Jay-Z have never publicly acknowledged these allegations and both continue to focus on their respective careers. Dealings between Jay-Z and P. Diddy the rumors surrounding Jay-Z and Diddy's alleged shady dealings have been a topic of speculation for years, with various claims and controversies linking the two music moguls. But while both have been involved in numerous joint ventures and collaborations in the entertainment industry, questions have arisen about whether they might have engaged in questionable business practices or activities outside the law. One well-known incident involving both moguls is related to their roles in the hip-hop culture's association with luxury champagne, particularly Crystal. In the early 2000s, Crystal was the drink of choice in clubs frequented by artists like Jay-Z and Diddy. However, the relationship between Crystal and the hip-hop community soured after the managing director of Louis Roder, which produces Crystal, made dismissive comments about the brand's association with rappers. Frederic Rouzad, the managing director, remarked that he viewed this association with curiosity and serenity, implying that it wasn't welcomed by the brand. Jay-Z publicly condemned these comments, viewing them as racist. In response, he led a boycott of Crystal and removed it from his 40 slash 40 sports lounge. He replaced it with other brands like Dom Perignon. This move highlighted Jay-Z's influence and ability to shift cultural trends in the luxury market. Diddy, who had similarly promoted Crystal in the past, did not publicly join the boycott, although the controversy impacted how the hip hop community viewed luxury brands. Jay-Z and Diddy have both amassed fortunes through their ventures in the alcohol industry. Jay-Z owns a stake in the Armand de Brignac champagne brand popularly known as Ace of Spades, and Diddy became a major player in the vodka market through his partnership with Ciroc. Their forays into this sector are often viewed as savvy business moves, but rumors have swirled around alleged under-the-table deals and monopolistic practices. However, no verified information supports the idea that either Jay-Z or Diddy have engaged in illegal business actions within this industry. Both moguls have made successful business decisions by tapping into their influence in pop culture. 
Jay-Z's deal with Bacardi to distribute D. Uskonnak and Diddy's marketing dominance with Sorok exemplify how they capitalized on their names and status to create billion-dollar empires. Jay-Z and Diddy, who are both successful in their own right, have been business allies at different points. Diddy's business empire includes ventures like Bad Boy Records and Ciroc, while Jay-Z has built his brand through Rock Nation and various entrepreneurial pursuits. Their relationship was often seen as one of mutual respect, with both acknowledging each other's successes. However, they have never launched a formal business together. Speculation about their collaborations revolves more around informal alliances and shared industry strategies rather than official joint ventures. Rumors about the two engaging in illicit activities have swirled, with some speculating that their relationship goes beyond legal business dealings. 50 Cent, for instance, has publicly hinted at possible dark secrets involving both Diddy and Jay-Z. He suggested that their connection could involve covering up scandals or illegal activities. So one of the most controversial claims linked to them involves allegations of shady dealings and the deaths of certain associates within the industry, although these accusations remain unproven. Further adding fuel to the fire, Diddy's recent legal troubles have sparked renewed speculation about whether Jay-Z is somehow involved. Although no evidence has directly implicated Jay-Z in these accusations, his long-standing association with Diddy continues to raise questions. Despite the rumors, no solid evidence has emerged that conclusively proves any illicit business dealings between Jay-Z and Diddy. Both moguls have maintained a clean public image when it comes to their official business ventures, and any accusations of illegal activity have either been denied or not backed by credible sources. For instance, Jay-Z's involvement in prior controversies such as his earlier admission of dealing drugs in his youth has been well documented, but these past actions are largely unrelated to his later business endeavors with Diddy. Public statements from both camps have often brushed aside these allegations as speculative or baseless. As of now, neither Jay-Z nor Diddy has faced legal consequences directly linking them to the criminal accusations that continue to circulate in media reports. What do we know about Jay-Z's alleged flight? Rumors have recently circulated about Jay-Z potentially fleeing the country amidst the legal troubles of his longtime friend, Diddy. The alleged warning from Diddy to Jay-Z has become a hot topic of speculation in the media. According to various sources, Diddy supposedly warned Jay-Z that federal authorities were closing in on him due to ongoing investigations by the FBI and HS. Diddy's legal troubles began with accusations of sexual misconduct, although he has vehemently denied these claims. While Jay-Z has not publicly commented on these developments, some suggest that his silence is a strategic decision to distance himself from the controversy. This alleged tip-off was reportedly intended to give Jay-Z time to distance himself from any illegal activities connected to Diddy. While there is no concrete evidence confirming this claim, online discussions have pointed to leaked details from insiders close to the situation. Sources suggest that Jay-Z left quietly for Europe, although there has been no official confirmation of this departure. These claims have been fueled by his sudden absence from public events and a notable silence on his social media channels. Some reports indicate that he may be staying at one of his private residences overseas while assessing the situation. As a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, supporting someone accused of such serious crimes could damage his reputation especially in the post hashtag me too era speculation also arose that jay-z might be taking extra caution due to possible implications or associations with diddy's legal case although there is no public evidence to suggest that jay-z is involved in any wrongdoing batting fuel to these rumors 50 cent who has long feuded with both Jay-Z and Diddy, has trolled Jay-Z online, suggesting that he's gone into hiding 
and is avoiding the spotlight until the controversy blows over. This has led to widespread speculation, but it's important to note that much of this is driven by social media chatter and not concrete evidence. Additionally, reports indicate that Diddy may feel betrayed by Jay-Z for his lack of public support during this difficult time. Some even suggest that Diddy is attempting to dry snitch on Jay-Z, that is, he is trying to accuse Jay-Z in certain matters out of revenge. However, no credible sources have confirmed any connection between Jay-Z and Dillage illegal issues. So far, Jay-Z and his representatives have not made any public statements addressing the rumors. This silence has only added to the public's curiosity, with fans and critics alike wondering if there is truth to the allegations. Without official confirmation, the story remains largely speculative, but it certainly captured the attention of the public and the media. Many are waiting to see how this situation unfolds and whether or not Jay-Z will speak out or return to the U.S. amidst the ongoing investigations. Despite all the speculation, there is no concrete evidence confirming that Jay-Z has fled the country or is involved in Diddy's legal troubles. This absence from public events could simply be an effort to avoid controversy. Jay-Z has also continued to post sporadically on social media, which challenges the idea that he, had, that he has gone into hiding. While rumors swirl about Jay-Z's silence and possible distancing from Diddy, there is no definitive proof that he has fled the country or is implicated in any wrongdoing. So the situation appears to be one of caution, with Jay-Z avoiding public involvement in a highly sensitive case. Until either Jay-Z or his representatives release an official statement, much of this remains speculation driven by online gossip and media reports. Potential impact on Jay-Z's career, the allegations against Diddy, and the potential link to Jay-Z could significantly impact Jay-Z's business ventures and public image. Here's a breakdown of how this situation might play out. Jay-Z's music label, Rock Nation, and his streaming service, Tidal, have long been symbols of his influence and success in the music industry. If these allegations are proven to be true, they could damage his business relationships and credibility. Music labels rely heavily on artist collaborations and partnerships and any association with controversial figures like Diddy could make potential partners wary. Artists and producers might hesitate to collaborate with Jay-Z if they feel their association could lead to negative publicity. For Tidal, the allegations could hurt its reputation as it promotes itself as a platform that is artist-friendly and focused on high-quality content. If people perceive Jay-Z as being involved in illegal activities or supporting such behavior, it might lead to a decline in subscriptions. Moreover, Tidal's partnerships with high-profile artists like Bayonce, Kanye West, and others could be jeopardized if these artists choose to distance themselves from the controversy. Jay-Z also has numerous endorsements and partnerships, including with major brands like Puma, which he joined as a creative director. If brands see him as a liability due to the controversy, they may reconsider their partnerships. Brands are often quick to sever ties with celebrities involved in scandals to avoid backlash and protect their image. A loss of such partnerships would not only affect Jay-Z's income, but also his influence in the fashion and lifestyle industries. Jay-Z has cultivated an image of a self-made mogul who transcended his rough upbringing to become a successful entrepreneur and cultural icon. However, these allegations could tarnish his reputation and cast doubt on his integrity. Well, if the public perceives him as being complicit in or turning a blind eye to illegal activities, it could significantly damage his standing as a role model and philanthropist. Moreover, Jay-Z's advocacy work, including his efforts toward criminal justice reform, could be undermined. Critics may point out a perceived hypocrisy if he is connected to or even aware of criminal behavior. This situation could also impact his influence in social justice circles, where he has been a prominent voice. The reactions from other celebrities and industry insiders have been mixed. Some have shown support, while others have distanced themselves from the controversy. For instance, Kanye West, 
who has had a complicated relationship with both Jay-Z and Diddy, has not commented publicly, which some interpret as a strategic move to avoid the controversy altogether. On the other hand, rapper 50 Cent has been vocal, mocking Diddy and casting doubt on both Diddy's and Jay-Z's innocence. Supporters of Jay-Z, like his wife Beyonce, have remained silent, possibly to avoid adding fuel to the fire. Meanwhile, other industry figures may wait for more concrete evidence before taking a stance. This wait and see approach could influence public perception, as fans often look to their favorite celebrities for guidance on such issues. If the allegations are proven false, Jay-Z could emerge relatively unscathed, but if they are true or even partially substantiated, his public image could suffer long-term damage. It would take a considerable PR effort to rebuild his reputation and regain public trust. Concluding thoughts. The ongoing FBI and Hai investigations into Sean Diddy comms have cast a significant shadow over his career and could have far-reaching consequences, not only for him, but also for other influential figures like Jay-Z. With accusations reigning from sex trafficking to drug distribution, Diddy's legal troubles are only beginning to unfold, and the severity of the allegations means that his future is highly uncertain. If these charges lead to a conviction, the music industry would see one of its biggest icons facing long-term legal repercussions. As for Jay-Z, although no direct involvement in Diddy's legal issues has been confirmed, rumors about his potential distancing or even fleeing the country have sparked public speculation. Given their past collaborations and personal ties, any developments in Diddy's case could reflect on Jay-Z's public image. It is still not very clear how deeply Jay-Z might be affected, but if any evidence surfaces linking him to Diddy's alleged activities, it could have a serious impact on his career as well. So moving forward, the investigations will continue to develop and it might even bring more revelations to light. New details about Diddy's professional and personal life are bound to emerge considering how law enforcement agencies are thoroughly investigating Diddy's past. And these details may even potentially involve other high profile individuals. The case could even spark broader conversations in the entertainment industry about accountability and the misuse of power by influential figures. For Diddy, the stakes are extremely high. The unfolding legal battle will not only impact his legacy, but could also reshape how the public views the music industry's elite. As the investigations proceed, the outcome will set a precedent and influence how similar cases are handled in the future. This will in turn affect other public figures who may have been involved with or associated with Diddy. Ultimately, the ongoing investigations will serve as a defining moment for both Diddy and the broader entertainment world, as the public watches closely to see how this case unfolds and what the long-term consequences will be.